Hi, my name's Finn. Um, I'm part of the Bee Project. We're based in Stroud in Gloucestershire. Uh, we had the Global Bee Project come to our school and they said, oh, do you want to get involved with, um, do you want to increase the population of the Red Mason Bee? So we said, yeah, great. So we're doing this since the autumn. Um, and it's an ongoing project. We should do it for another, for another year at least. And yeah, there's about 12 of us working on it. So we had to build, we had to design the bee houses, build the bee houses, sort of see what we're going to test, what variables. And yeah, this is the stage we're at now at the Royal Society, and that, that's where we come to with the project. And we're trying to uh, find out what solitary bees like to live in, like what sort of tube. And normally they live in a bamboo tube or a hollowed out stem, but we're trying to find out sort of what they prefer to try and like increase the population. So, as you can see behind me, we've got our bee house, our prototype. Different types of grooves and like tubes, trying to see like you know what they like. What we normally do every week is we go to the bee house and we uh, open up the back and uh, look through it. And if we see any blockages, we know there's bees in there. So we sort of see what sort of like ratio of uh, bees uh, in each sort of uh, tube, and then find out some sort of correlation. We've got the bamboo, we've got the uh, cardboard tubes, the grooves, and the drill holes down at the bottom. Which ones are they preferring? So that's basically what we use this for. We also log the temperature and humidity. Say if we've got a bee house with like no bees at all, we'd be like, oh, what's going on here? So we would uh, then look at the temperature um, gauge and the humidity gauge and see whether there's any sort of like, whether it's too wet for them, whether we need to move it, like other things like that, really.